hi how are you all doing today this is me frugal Lisa Lupa sister hope all is well thank you all for watching tuning in I really appreciate it and I like to say thank you to all of my new subscribers thank you for subscribing to my channel it means a lot to me um, actually I'm getting ready to go into my rheumatology appointment I see my rheumatologist every four months I think I'm actually going to get some blood work done today. Let me look here at the camera. I'm going to get some blood work done today. Um, I've been feeling mm, a little bit kind of tired. I've been having a lot of shortness of breath lately. So I'm not sure what that's all about. But I have been having to use my inhaler which is for my for like steroids for my lungs and I also been taking the prednisone five milligrams I he gave it to me to take as needed so I've been taking it like every day since I've been having the issues with my um, lungs so it's helped a little bit so hopefully he can tell me what's going on if I'm in a, a flare-up I'm not sure I actually went back to work for um, a little bit on yesterday with my job I just work maybe one or two days a week that's the only thing I can do right now um, I've been tired I've been resting a lot lately just this shortness of breath has been really bothering me I'm not sure if I need to go see my pulmonologist so I will see um, but other than that I'm okay which is good I I've got a lot of comments um, with my last video. Thank you all for commenting. Um, lupus sucks. But the question I want to put forth with you all today is um, the ANA. I'm quite sure that a lot of us loopies has had the ANA te A -N -A test. That's where it show if you're in a positive inflammation or flare up within your body and that's like one of the testing lab tests that they have to do to actually show that you do have some type of autoimmune whether it's lupus or any other autoimmune disorders um, for my story with autoimmune when I first began to get sick I had negative um, autoimmune ANA I, it was negative I had it done twice afterwards and they both came back negative and until I went to see my rheumatologist, maybe like four or five months afterwards, I had a positive ANA, along with other things that were going on with my blood. I had, I have, I have the RNP antibiotics. You are probably wondering what is that, but that shows that um, you have some type of autoimmune antibody in within your system. And that is abnormal for me. Even though right now my ANA is negative. I won't know for sure again until I get my blood work in. But I'll let you know that later. But right now, last time I checked my ANA was anti-nuclear antibody. It was negative. But my RNP antibody is abnormal. So therefore, even though I'm not in a flare-up, lupus flare-up, but I still have the antibiotics that goes along with having any autoimmune disorder so with that being said this is my question to you how many of you out there have had negative ANA and then there's positive ANA sometimes you may go to the doctor and say, oh yeah you're in a flare-up and your ANA is positive so I just want to get some feedback because I actually asked my rheumatologist he had like a forum before before and I asked the question to him I said is it possible for you to still have lupus and that your ANA is negative his answer to me was yes you can still have lupus the only way you have a positive ANA is when you are in a lupus flare-up or any other type of autoimmune flare-up so how many of you out there have had an ANA that's positive, then you went later, it's negative? I think that's one reason why it's so hard for us to actually receive disability or some type of assistance with lupus because one minute that you go to the doctor, everything is fine. Then the next minute you go and then you have all these issues that come along with lupus. So hit me back. Let me know what you all think. Um... I don't know even though I'm having these having these issues with my lungs and breathing 
I'm not sure that I have I would have would consider it as a lupus flare-up. So we'll see once I go ahead and get this blood work done. I know he's gonna draw have tons of lab work done on me. So we're gonna see. But I do feel mm, I feel okay some days, and then some days I do not. But the only thing that's bothering me right now is this shortness of breath. Really sucks. So you guys take care. Let me know what you think. Hit me back. If you have any other questions out there that you want to put forth, let me know. I do appreciate everything. I try to respond back to all of my comments because that's what I like to do. I like to talk. Mm -hmm. I do like to talk. But thank you all for watching. Take care. Enjoy your day. And I will come back with you later, later maybe, maybe after I finish my appointment. Okay? Bye-bye. Until later. I am out of my appointment. He said everything looks well. I did a lot of blood work today. Um, so we'll see what those results show. That's the thing about with lupus, you know, we have the symptoms physically, but they really can't tell what's really going on with us unless they do blood work. And I think they base a lot of their decision as to what is going on with people who has who have lupus by their blood work sometimes the blood work can be negative and we feel like crap and you know I was thinking also that could be one of the reason people feel the way they do about lupus in regards to well you don't look sick or they just brush our symptoms off but we know that we are feeling horrible that's why they say the, the mysteries of lupus but hopefully my blood tests I want to be normal but I I do feel some discomfort to think about it that whenever I come to the doctor I feel okay and I know it is not just in my head as they always say so we just see so I will let you all know what my results sh show you know I also been noticing I say so a lot enjoy your day and i will talk with you later checking out with you all frugal listed lupus sister much love to you all bye bye